He put everything on the line to defy state mandates during coronavirus. I'm Roland Barris, senior reporter for Idaho News 6. And I talked with Jonathan Eldridge. He's the owner of a gym in Middleton who refused to stay closed during coronavirus. I wanted to find out how he's doing today after all of that. And he's doing pretty well. About four years ago, coronavirus was turning the world upside down. There were mandates to stay home and close down business. It's a time Jonathan Eldridge would probably rather forget. It was a super messy time. Not, you know, hey, am I going to jail or what's going to happen? What's going on? And we had just had a baby like three weeks before and we were in process of purchasing a house that that fell through because of everything that happened. And it was just it was a mess. But Jonathan had some people in his clientele who needed physical therapy or needed a place to shower. And he says he just wouldn't tell them no. So he defied the government and kept the doors open, saying this at the time. I'm hoping that what I do can can help inspire other people um, and that maybe we can set a precedence that, you know, our, our liberties aren't to be taken lightly. I remembered his story well, so I ventured back to his place. And what I found was that all these years later, his little gym in Middleton continues to grow, in part because of his principled stand. Oftentimes people are a little bit afraid to stick their neck out or to stand up or to do things. And for whatever reason, we decided to. And a lot of people like that. I think we basically spoke and acted for a lot of people that for whatever reason, couldn't or wouldn't on their own. And then so they're all in behind it. One of the people I spoke to while there was Kim Tuckett, who remembers the controversy and says, there's a loyalty to Middleton Fitness you don't find elsewhere. And when there were threats, there's, really, yeah. it was tough and he still kept the things open. Yeah, we needed that at that time. We needed a place to go. You know, even now I still have people come in that have moved here or they're here locally say, oh, I remember when, and you know, I mean, that's has been, basically three years ago now. It's all in the rear view mirror now, and Middleton Fitness is definitely looking forward. How's business these days? That's good. Eldridge says if he had to do it all over again, he would do it exactly the same way. Let's hope we never have another pandemic to put him to the test. I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.